um, you know, you know, dispensaries like a weed, you know, weed shop. Those those have a lot of different, you know, um, chaos. The police is always in these things. Yeah, I like I see so many people that got shot in these in yep, these, yep. these, these, these dispensaries, yeah, in these yeah. smoke shops in New York. So things like that. So number one, uh, high risk industry. You got to stay away from those things. Number two is you know your business hasn't been in like you know in business for long enough. A lot of times this, you know, some people's business has been open for like two three months. And sometimes they can't find the right banks that are actually lend to a new business, you know? So now if you know the banks that are lending to new businesses, it's more easier, right? So, so what banks would you recommend for like somebody who their business is up and running probably like a month or two? Like where could they go and, and get like some funding? You can go to a bank like Chase. Chase is definitely a, a great bank. Um, open up a business credit card. I would say get the Chase Business um, Chase Business Inc. Unlimited. Um, that's a great credit card. American Express, the Blue Business Plus, they give you a 0% interest for about 12 months. So now let's say you get ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and you can go out, you know, do what you got to do and then pay them back in less than 12 months. And now everything was basically all free and clear. That's crazy. Wait, 0% interest for 12? What? Meaning that they don't have to pay any kind of extra interest. Like they will front the yeah, money, yeah. but you don't have to pay anything extra on top of that. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you got Chase, American Express. Um, they also have a few Elon financial banks, like, for example, um, I think Ameris, Ameris Bank, Flagstar. No, not Flagstar. Amer Ameris Bank. They got a a business credit card, 18 months, 0% interest. So that's about a year and a half of 0% interest where you can actually use these credit cards and start turning up. Right. Um, they go to like $25,000 on a credit card. Um we got Citizens Bank. They got a few credit cards there. Uh, Bank of America, they have a credit card for about nine months, 0% interest. So, like, the, the cards are out there. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's out there for people. You just got to know where to go. You know what I mean? So, um, those are a few credit cards that people can definitely try out, especially if you got a new business, you know. Um, another reason why, people, why banks are actually denying people um, is because... Most times you might have your business, your home address is your business address. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's another reason why pe people can't get approved is because, you know, they have, you know, home address, business address. Everything is all combined. And so it the, looks, banks is, the banks is looking at all of that. Like, they're looking at, and believe it or not, bro, like, some banks will actually come to your house and check it out. They will come to the address that you have, and they will check out and see if you're actually, you know, running business at a brick and mortar or where you're saying you're running the business out. Right. Same thing with merchant accounts. Like there was this one time when I just had start off and I was in that's when I was in the trucking industry and I was just starting out. And what happened was I had signed up for a merchant account and a merchant account is basically where that's where you actually able to process payments. So that way you can, you know, stop accepting Zelle, Cash App, things like that yeah. and actually run an actual business. So I f signed up for a merchant account. And my business was registered in Florida. And I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, cool. I don't live in Florida. I live in New York. So, you know, you have to see me what you got. You're going to see me when you have yeah. to see me. So they do site surveys and they will come to wherever your business oh, is. Crazy. And they will sit there and they will take a picture of your setup. So now they want to see where you're working and they'll take a picture and then they will use that as your approval. So now that's why it's important to understand, all right, cool, if I had a business address, what I could have done was go to the business address, rent out the spot for the day, and you can actually use that as your site survey. Wow. Right? And to find a business address, you can go to a place like Regis, um, Alliant, and places like that. Opus. Damn. Regis, Alliant, Opus, those are like three sites that you can use when it comes to, you know, getting a business address. So I know a lot of y'all just looking like, damn, that's why I'm, that's why I didn't get no funding. Yeah, a lot bro. of y'all using the y'all y'all not structuring yourselves properly, like yeah. using home addresses, you know. And now they're doing site visits. Yeah, like imagine the bank low key coming and and checking <laughs> checking checking what you wrote on your application. Like they're really checking these things. They're yeah. really really checking these things. And the crazy thing is, people will be like, oh no, um, I don't really need a, a business address, and they'd be like. It's not going to happen to me. And then you f you find out, all right, cool. You filled out a business application and mm, they want to do a site survey. And now they just denied you because you didn't know that. Damn. 
You know, that is crazy. Another reason why people can't get approved for uh, business, you know, business loans, business lines of credit is because bad credit, you know, bad credit mm-hmm. is definitely one of those reasons. So they're looking at your personal credit at times too. personal credit for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, if you got good credit, no, if you got if you got if you have bad credit, you can probably use collateral as as your way of getting approved. Um, or if your business is making money, like you can prove that your business is making money. Like you got like, you know, bank statements and all of that stuff for like three months. You can mm-hmm. use that as your form of approval. So mm-hmm. these are the things that you just got to know before you go. Yeah. There. You know what I mean? Like if you don't yeah. know this stuff, you're going to leave yourself in the hole. and You're going to be wondering about like, all right, cool. This guy's getting 50,000. This guy's getting 30,000. But I can't get squat. <laughs> and that's the reason why. Because you don't know why people are denying you. That is crazy. So a lot of y'all got to redo those applications. Yeah. Got to tap it with somebody like Cody <laughs> to get <laughs> y'all right. Man. So y'all can walk in these banks and, and get approved and get, get that 50K, get that 60K, get that honey chip. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So how, like, how, how has, um, like, have you, were you able to get anybody like any, like, high, like, like high funding, like high, high, high credit limits? Um, so I, I actually, I can even speak for my parents, bro. Um, I helped my parents because they had bought a property out in Florida, mm-hmm. um, more of an investment property. They had just started their first business. And mind you, it's kind of a hard uh, a hard thing dealing with your parents because they don't really want to listen. Yeah. But, uh, whichever way, they, I helped them set up their LLC, make sure everything was set up, got them the registered agent, you know, all of that good stuff. So they look good on paper, right? Mm-hmm. Credit scores are good. Everything looks good. And mind you, they have a brand new business. Like literally the business was so fresh. Like the next day after the business was approved and everything was listed on the website, they went to the bank and they was able to get approved for about twenty twenty five thousand dollars Easy. You know what I mean? So once they opened up the business checking account, merchant account, it's like, hey, sir, ma'am, would you guys like a, you know, check and see if you guys get a, you know, pre-approval with the credit card? Yeah, sure. Why not? They went ahead, they doubled back, got that that twenty, twenty five thousand dollars in business credit, and now, you know, they got a twenty thousand, twenty five thousand dollar business credit card. So now the great thing about it is they got cleaners. They have, you know, you have to buy merchandise to upkeep yeah. the place. They have, you know, certain fees they gotta pay. So now when you're using this credit card, guess what? They can start using it, they can start accumulating points. So now if you gotta travel to your property, you got the points. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you got the points, you got the rewards off of the business credit card. Jeez. And now that becomes like a, like, let's say, for example, you go out there, you're on vacation, things like that. Now you're on a business trip. Damn. You know what I mean? So, yo, that's, 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 crazy. that's, 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 that's kind of like what we talked about with the personal credit cards. Your credit cards really, even on the business side, got them. Exactly. Of perks. Exactly. Damn. And you was able to get them funding in, in like, with a new, with a, basically a new business they just started. Right. And so. brand new. Crazy thing is, because we had to make adjustments. I don't know why they wasn't like showing the business on the website, like on the on the Secretary of State. Yeah. And then we had to make adjustments. That took about another two weeks. So it delayed the process a little bit. But um, whichever way, once we made those changes, made those updates, we was able to go out, get the bank account, get approved, and, you know, just walk right in and walk right out. Easy. Damn. Yeah. That is crazy. It's just about knowing this stuff. Yeah, you mean, you know I mean? Like, a lot of people don't, you know, they it's don't know this information. Stuff. You know, they, 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 they come in the bank, you know, they just be praying for like, you know, like, yo, I'm, I'm going to have a nice, <laughs> a nice baker or like, you know, I'm going to have a nice, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to have a nice like person attending me like, yo, they're going to give me funding. They see my vision. Banks don't care about your vision. You know, they, they don't come in these banks. They don't. And you have to really, really know what you're doing and, and you have to look good on paper, like for real, for real. Exactly. And the thing is, too, like, like it is great to have bankers because, like, if you do have certain bankers, like, under your belt, it makes it really easy, bro. Mm. Like, really, really easy for you to get approved for certain things. Because now, here's the thing. Like, I even met a banker out in, in, in Atlanta and, mm. you know, I even flew back out there to have like a sit down meeting, you know, so that way mm. you can actually start building out a relationship. And they was telling me like there are certain programs that they have that that they don't really list out to the uh, to the public. They also got like certain credit cards. They know certain like things to put on the application to make sure that you actually will be able to get. Let's say you know their average approval rate is about thirty, forty, fifty thousand. All right, cool. What we've been seeing every time we fill out an application. All right, cool. When when a person puts this, they get about you know 
30,000. Or they get around like $50,000 with this kind of revenue. All right, do you got business documents? Like, do you have any statements to prove? All right, cool. If you got business statements to prove, we probably could get you a little bit more. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, when you have bankers. You get the inside. You get, you get the, the inside. inside school. You know what I mean? Like, they got certain programs that they can offer you. They got uh, the banker that I actually met. She had, um, she was Hispanic and she was mainly like trying to put on for like Hispanics, like mm-hmm. people that don't speak English, you know, people that's from, you know, like Spanish speaking countries and stuff like that. And what happened was she started, you know, she wanted to really, really bridge the gap yeah. between, you know, um, the bank and the community. So now mm-hmm. once you start getting plugged up with bankers, it makes your job of getting funding more easier. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, that's that it is great to have a great banker because some of them do care, some of them don't know what they're talking about. And you gotta school them, you know? So Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so once you build them relationships with those banks, then you start to you kinda get information like yo, the, the average person wouldn't get. Yeah. Because you know? they know like like for example, like certain underwriters, like they're not the people approving these applications. They're sending them out to underwriters. Mm-hmm. And then the underwriters look at the application, boop, 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 boop. <sighs> It looks like she's a little high risk industry. Look yeah. like she do real estate. Look like she do trucking. You know, <sighs> can't really deal with it. Then the bank would be like, "All right, cool. Th- this is why." Or they make a couple of changes and they be able to get the approval they're looking for. Damn. So like for for people who are in the high, like like let's say people who are like they are in real estate, they are in trucking, um, and you know like that's just the reality of the business that they. Yeah. But they want to get funding. How would you? How would you advise them to kind of like change that so the banks don't look at it like, yo, this person trucking denied, real estate denied, like, like what advice would you give to them? Because you got you got to think about it, bro. Like there's still businesses that are getting funding and you're wondering why. Right. So now if you're say for example, you're in a high risk industry, you might want to be able to have two separate LLCs. Right. Mm. Two separate businesses where one, you're doing operations out of this business. And then the next one, you might be doing consulting or something like that. So now you're not physically doing, um, let's say, credit repair. You're doing credit repair consulting. Like I'm teaching people how to repair their mm. credit. I'm not in the credit space anymore in this business, but in this business, I might have, you know, a few clients that I might be taking on. So what you would do is you would have one business set up for funding purposes and then another business set up for, you know, operations and things like that. Also, there are businesses, there are banks out there that will go out and start giving you approvals, even if, you know, you might be in a high risk industry. Like say, for example, I'm not too savvy on this part yet, but there are like programs like CDFIs mm. where a CDFI basically is like, they will give you funds to go out and invest for certain things like real estate. Oh, so like okay. they're real estate friendly. Mm. They might be trucking friendly, you know what I mean? Because they want to go out and start giving you the funds that you actually need. Mm. I'm not too savvy on that just yet. The CDFIs, but um, CDFIs is definitely one of those things that you can definitely use. Cause now like they will lend to you, even if you're in a high risk industry. You know, so so you could still go out and get funding too. You Absolutely, know. yo, people gotta know these things, man. Really, yeah, really, really. Can you just dropped a lot of gems, and these are things that yo, people. I, like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't even. I really hear this type of information, so is it here? Come, you know what's like, crazy? I never really heard this information from a lot of people neither. Yeah, I'm like shit. You, all you talk about is set up your business this way, so <laughs> we'll take a bag, fill out this, fill out 10, 20, 30 applications, <laughs> hoping to get a fruit. Like, and that's the problem because now people are, they're just listening to this one way of thing. And it's like, yeah. oh, do a credit card stack of all these fucking credit cards. And I'm like, why is a person have to <laughs> fill out so many applications? But here's what you should be doing instead. You build out a list of all the banks in your area you will call them on the phone and you will say, hey, listen, what is the requirements to go out and find, you know, for your for your yeah. business loan? What's the requirements for your business line of credit? What's the, the requirements for your business credit cards? What's the requirements for your, you know, all your business products overall? Right. And they will start listing out and they will start telling you, hey, listen, you know, these are the requirements. If you want a business line of credit, we will actually go ahead and approve you. Um, you you just have to have two years in business. Mm-hmm. You have to be making a certain amount of money, at least a hundred thousand dollars in revenue, and we will be able to give you that um business mm-hmm. line of credit or that business loan. But a lot of times, is people are telling you fill out all these applications online, and it's like yo, like hoping to get approval. 
So now Mm -hmm. when you're calling them, you're also saying, hey, listen, just about what's the average rate that you guys give on a business line of credit? You know, if I have this, you know, you know, requirement, if I'm making 250,000, you know, I've been in business for about three years and we're looking to do this, we're looking to do that. Now you'll be able to say, all right, cool. Chase, line of credit, 50,000. All right, cool. This is going to be on my list. So now you don't have to go out and fill out all these applications and hope that you'll be able to get approved. 